they are adorable, but not, not in your backyard. With Clinton Hill outside. resident Susan DeBrango snapped the suspects, their faces masked, trying to get inside her home. Not burglars creeping around, raccoons. He stood on his, on two legs, and he hissed at me. They are getting more brazen on Washington Avenue, rummaging through trash and running right up to neighbors, face to face with Barbara Maddox on her own front stoop. I just don't want that feeling ever again because I was petrified. It's gotten so bad, this three-year-old Maltese snowball, who used to love to play outside, is now a prisoner in his own home, according to his owner. He refuses to go out in the yard. Neighbors say they called 311, but were told the city will not respond unless the raccoons appear disoriented and potentially rabid. Neighbors chipped in for the services of a humane trapper, but in three weeks of setting out cat food in cages, not a single raccoon was caught. Raccoon experts are not surprised. In terms of trying to trap them, once they've been trapped in a type of trap once, they'll know not to go into that trap again. He says raccoons can spread rabies and distemper, which is a concern for dogs, not to mention parasites, fleas, and ticks. Some child or some person is going to have to get um, attacked. Why does it have to come to that? DeBrango is organizing a public meeting on October 17th, calling it a raccoon summit to spread the word everyone needs to secure trash can lids, bring cat, dog, and bird food inside, and make house repairs to cut off cozy places for raccoons to sleep hopefully forcing these crafty characters to move on. In Clinton Hill, Brooklyn, Dave Carlin, CBS2 News.